muscles move our blues players as they skate, shoot, and celebrate a goal. But have you ever really thought about how our muscles move? Movement is a very complex cognitive exercise. Our motor system is coordinating the movements of 600 muscles, all without our conscious control. Neurologists think of muscle as the end organ of the nervous system. Through a series of connections, the brain is speaking directly to the muscles. The communication between the brain and the muscle is extremely complex, but also very elegant. So let's break this down. When I want to move my hand, that thought is converted into electrical impulses that stimulate the correct combination of my muscles. How did my brain do that? The origin of the electrical signal to move an, a limb originates in something called the motor cortex, which is a thin strip of neurons located on the side of the brain. Those electrical impulses then travel down something called the corticospinal tract into the brain stem, and then from the brain stem down the spinal cord. In the spinal cord, that initial signal then is handed off or transmitted to a second lower motor neuron, which lives in the spinal cord. Got it. Then what happens? The motor system allows an electrical signal to be converted to a chemical signal. That chemical signal then activates a zipper-like mechanism within the muscles, which allow a muscle to contract. When muscles contract, that then facilitates movement. When that is coordinated across 600 muscles, then you see the beautiful orchestration and movement of an athlete. Elite athletes like the Blues need strength and endurance. Do different kinds of muscles have different jobs? Those muscles which have a great deal of resistance to fatigue and have a great deal of endurance are called slow twitch muscles. Those muscles which can generate a lot of force and provide us with speed and power tend to fatigue quicker. Those are called fast twitch muscles. The basis by which those muscles are able to perform those different types of activities is a function of their biochemistry. And their biochemistry is actually dictated by their motor neurons that innervate them. So what do these muscles look like at the cellular level? We can see the difference between fast twitch and slow twitch muscle fibers under the microscope. The fundamental difference between these two muscle fiber types is the way in which they generate energy. Slow twitch muscle fibers generate energy using a slow burn. However, fast twitch muscle fibers generate large amounts of energy in a short period of time in a fast burn. It's important for a blues player to have both types of muscle fibers. He needs to be able to have the endurance to last the entire game, but he also needs to be able to sprint for the puck over the span of a short two to three second burst of speed. So can you tell who has stronger muscles just by looking at their cells? When we look under the microscope, we can tell who's been working out and who hasn't. We can see how well developed those fast twitch muscle fibers are. With exercise and with practice, we can make those fast twitch muscle fibers work better. By working out on a regular basis, you give your motor neurons which control those fast twitch muscle fibers plenty of practice, which makes them work better and better, which means you get stronger and stronger. How do neurologists determine if our motor system is running at peak performance? We have a variety of ways in which we can actually measure the electrical activity of the nervous system. If we want to measure how quickly or how well the electrical impulses are traveling from the muscle to the nerve, we can use something called a nerve conduction study. That will actually measure the speed of the electrical impulse along the nerve, how the impulse then travels across the synapse, and then the contraction of the muscle. We're looking to see whether or not the nerve is intact and is able to transmit electrical impulses correctly. This is a slightly different thing. This here is an, a microphone, and when we stick it into the muscle, it's listening to what your muscle electrical activity is doing. Then when you tighten your muscle, then we're gonna hear this thing make noise. Now try to tighten your knee a little bit. A little bit less. A little bit more. There you go, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
right? So okay. what you're doing is you are taking uh, an electrical activity and turning it into something that you can see in here. So when these waveforms are coming across, what we're able to then measure is both the amplitude and the duration of the electrical signature. And then that is a reflection of how healthy your nerves and muscles are. I am always amazed by the physical agility of our blues players, but now I'm impressed by their brains too. Recognizing that movement is a cognitive exercise should help us appreciate that movement isn't just about muscles, but it's about brains too. You just stimulated my brain. And that's the science of St. Louis blues hockey. Check out our other episodes and learn more about the science of St. Louis blues hockey. Go to barnesjewish.org slash science of blues hockey.